Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is August 21st, 2019, and I thought today would be a good day to do a tutorial on the striped lollipop hammer. Because for me, on my treat calendar, I've got days where instead of getting something that just goes into my cash, which is actually what I prefer, I get some days where I get unlimited boosters for an hour. It's only able to be used once per turn that I play, but that's still a benefit and a big help. Although I would prefer this, I don't get any choice. King gets to decide which profiles get what kinds of boosters, and they've run all of these test groups all the time. Sometimes I can go to a different browser and get a different opportunity but currently this is what's available on this browser on this profile. So let's go ahead and make use of it and see what it's about. I'm going to go into level 3000. It's a nice standard level. I know I can beat it all the time and it's a great place to experiment because I've got a lot of different opportunities here and I'm going to further those opportunities by bringing in a lucky candy. So here we go. This is my uh, infinite striped lollipop hammer or lolly hammer or some people call it uh, the paintbrush and you'll see why in just a bit and once I use this once on this particular turn then this will revert back into a number of how many I have on this board uh, and the way you get these is by completing certain levels by completing level 3000 for one would give it to you uh, if it's the first time you're completing it or just by various uh, games that you can play. It's not a very common reward. It's a very rare reward. So if you've got them, hold on to them. I have them because I was able to exploit a glitch in the system a couple years ago where we could get them basically unlimited. And uh, I didn't make full use of it, but I did make a bit of use of it. And that glitch is no longer available, or I would definitely be telling you about it. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to see it says paint stripes on any candy and choose the direction of the blast. So that's important. I can choose whether this is a horizontal stripe or a vertical stripe. Sometimes it doesn't matter. I just need a stripe, but sometimes the direction it's going is extremely valuable to me. So let's see. It says on any candy. Let's see if it works on this special. Can I put it on this color bomb? Notice how this is going in a vertical direction. I need to kind of pull it to the left or to the right to make it go horizontally. That's how I direct it. If I were on like an iPad, I would use my finger and kind of swipe it this way, holding on to it, not lifting up. I'm holding on to my left mouse button and I'm not moving it. And if it were to start out horizontally, I could move it up or down to change it to a vertical pattern. But it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to let go and see does that color bomb switch? It does not because this is already a special and it says choose any candy. Oops, hello. Oh, I have to, I'm trying to now just put these together. I have to let go of this first. That's easy. I just click on it and it's gone. Now it went back. I didn't use it, so it's still available to me. Let's get rid of this. Level 3000 is now a super easy level because of the changes that they've made. They nerfed it when they gave us a challenge when 5,000 levels had been introduced they give us a challenge and so they've nerfed it now what I want to do is to see does it work on other special candies so I'm going to try to bring down so now I have a stripe here and I have a raft I'm going to pick this up and see if I can convert this into a stripe let's say I want a horizontal stripe here I'm going to try to set this down and pull it now it's set up as horizontal it's flashing all over, but remember this wrapped candy is the pivotal candy that I've chosen, and I can see that when I revert back to a vertical form. So I'm going to let go and see. Does it work? It did not. Let's see if I can change the stripe. Let's see if I can change the stripe to a vertical. Does it work? It does not. So it's not working on these special candies. I have to release it and just use the special candies. I can't turn a stripe into another stripe. I'm trying to get a lucky candy or a fish that just shows up, but those aren't being as helpful. Let's go ahead and try again. Let's see. 
So how can I get a lucky candy down here? That's a little bit tougher. And then to get the lucky candy down and not have it explode is going to be even more difficult. So let me see if I can do that. I'm going to pause the recording and see if I can set that up. I did not get a lucky candy, but I did get a fish, so I wanted to check that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to paint it. It doesn't work. And I'll show you that it in particular doesn't work because then I'll show you how it does work. I'm going to choose this blue candy and I'm going to make it a horizontal stripe so I can hit this bobber and this bobber. So let's say I'm at the end and I've got one move left and I only need to collect two fish. That's where this would come in handy. So I do this and I pull it to the side and it's going to give me a stripe now. Actually, I don't get to set it off unless, of course, I put another stripe next to it. So I can pull it this way. I can't just set it off on its own. Or I could hit it with a lolly hammer. Now notice this is reverted back to the fact that I've got 23. It doesn't take any from those cash. It's just allowing me to use them. And so I'm going to do this. And that's how I use that lollipop hammer. So now I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording again and come back and try to find a lucky candy. But not on this board. I've got plenty of lives. I don't need to worry about lives. I'm going to exit this game. And I'm going to go back in with this lucky candy. And then I get this refreshed. Although actually what I'm going to choose to do, because it's so hard to get a lucky candy on this board because things are so explosive, is I'm going to pause the recording and find a different level that gives me a lucky candy opportunity and test it there. I'll be right back. So I can bring in a lucky candy and I still have my unlimited time. And what I'm going to do is try to turn this into a stripe. My prediction is that it will not work because it hasn't worked with other specials before, not even with stripes. But I'm just going to go ahead and try it. Nope, doesn't work. But that's okay. I just unrelease it. And now I've got it available for any other time I want to make a stripe. So let's say I need to set this. Let's say I've got a lot of green on the board, and I do. And so I want to hit these guys with stripes. Well, I can convert this into a stripe for myself. I'm going to do it horizontally this time. Pull it this way. So it gives me a horizontal stripe. That's why we call it the paintbrush. Did you see that paintbrush icon? I do this, and then I get a whole bunch of stuff that happens. And it can really advance me on a board to have an extra stripe placed exactly where I need it. And then sometimes, you know, I'll have a stripe, and I'll want to be able to place another stripe next to it, or a wrap that I'll want to put a stripe next to. So that's my information on the striped lollipop hammer, also known as the paintbrush. If you have any questions or comments about it, please feel free to put those below. I will do my best to respond as quickly as I can. Otherwise, if you get one of these specials, just have fun making this as much as you want to while it is free and available to you and experiment with it yourself so you can learn even more. If you do find information that I haven't listed, please feel free to put it below so we can all gain from that experience. And as always, thanks so much for watching.